Oh my gosh, this is really, really hot. I don't know what I did. I think I need to bust out my manual a little bit for my tea kettle, but it has not been this hot before. So we're gonna let that sit. Happy Friday the 13th, everybody. This is definitely number two favorite day of the entire year. Obviously, Halloween is first. Nothing will ever top that. But there's something super special about this day. It is genuinely a day to sit around, have a movie fest, and crochet. Also, I love a good theme. You know, here we go. Yeah? Have my yarn match my hook, match the theme, like all the things together. I just love it. We'll see. Oh, we're good. Maybe it was just the mug, actually. With the way that time works, there's only 24 hours in a day, so I would never finish every single one in just one sitting. So I have the brand new, or like the newest Friday the 13th. That's what I'm gonna be watching first, and then I'm gonna kind of work my way back. So I chose four other ones to watch, and then I'm just gonna kind of like pick and choose throughout the day, but hopefully I can get through the entire series. That would be fantastic. A couple of months ago when I was getting ready for this day and kind of like planning everything out, I had two specific crochet projects that I was gonna work on. And then I found the Tunisian crochet blanket pattern and it just went out the window. Like all my plans were just thrown away because I fell in love with this. I totally forgot that I had ordered crochet hooks specifically for those patterns. So we have some new hooks to open up today from Furl's Crochet. Obviously I can use them for other projects. What do we have? It is the Cherry Streamline Swirl Line. This is a line that I only had two, I think, and then I just ordered the rest of it because it looks so Friday the 13th inspired. I mean, it's called Cherry, but like all of the other hooks that Furls has, I hardly ever call it the name that it actually is. My Killer Clown ones, my Pumpkin Spice ones, like they all have different names. According to what I use the hook for, I wonder if they'll be in the new boxes too. Oh, they are. Okay, so it is official. They are definitely changing their packaging, at least for their streamlined ones. Found one, this is a much older box. So we have, this is the most recent. There is one that goes in between this. So this is the one that used to be. It was the black and white furls streamline. Flip it over and it has the shape of the hook. It says, what will yours look like? That's what it was before this, which is now a metallic streamline. I actually really do like this boxing. And it has the swirls, the circles that if you put all the boxes together, it continues making the design. It's seriously so pretty. Also does tell you which end to open. The side that says furls, and this side says wait, open the other end. Which is actually really nice and I appreciate that. But this, is one that was all the way before. So we have all three boxes that they've used. I mean, as far as I've ordered them, these are the three boxes that I've seen. And this is obviously, this is my labeling. This is not from Furl's Crochet. I, since the boxes are all the same, I like to know what is inside everything. It's just a little sticker. I write the name of it and the size of it, which is what I will do with these. The rest of them new. Yeah, okay, so since I'm chatting about that one, but it actually shows this one on the outside, like the actual picture. Does that not look like a slasher hook? That's all I think of every time I see these. Oh, there is needle case in here too, maybe. I am so glad that I read that because I would have totally thrown this away. So I ordered this all the way back when they were having that deal in December. Not all the way back, it was only a couple of weeks ago. Whatever order you placed, no matter what you placed, you got a free needle holder. And this one is, I think the teak. The other one was maple. Yeah, a small teak. I will always use more of these and specifically these small ones, I use these for travel. So they go into my totes. Well, they go in a notion bag, then they go in the tote to travel everywhere. They're all being used at the moment. So I don't have anything out. So this is kind of nice. And then there's one more, which I think this one is actually on sale. Let me grab my phone. It is definitely on sale right now. So these are the two new colors that they're going with. And I'm liking it, like I really am. These special edition ones, they look like boxes of candy. The way that they make these, there is just enough room for the hook to go in here. And this is all very sturdy cardboard. So it's not gonna move around. It's gonna be a nice place for it to hang out when you're not using it. 
This is so beautiful. Whenever they have a limited edition or a special edition crochet hook, I know I'm gonna be obsessed with it. Like there hasn't been one that they've come out with that I've been like, no, hard pass for me. No, I love all of them. They are a little bit shorter than the Streamline Swirls and the Odyssey. So I like using them for different projects significantly shorter. And I like that. Again, I just need to show off this swirl. I love it. When I'm not using it, we'll put it in here. Otherwise, I normally keep it in this collector's box. So the ones that are in here right now, they all have a specific project that I'm working on. Like all of these have a project out about in the yarn dungeon and I just leave them here so that way they don't roll around anywhere. This is where I keep all of my Odyssey ones that I'm using for different projects. I guess that is a lot. Like that all together, that's a lot of projects that are going at this moment. So we're gonna close that. These ones came out around Black Friday and yeah, they are a little bit shorter. Something that I've been doing lately that is not crochet related in any way, shape or form is making my own wax melts. I love wax melts and I have about two or three warmers in every single room in my house. I just love the process and I love my area smelling really, really good. And on theme, ordered some camping inspired essential oils. I've used this brand before. I, it was their Halloween edition. So there's like pumpkin spice and candy corn. This just seemed too perfect for today. And I also have some molds. When I was Halloween home decor hunting, I got a ton of these. I think I'm gonna do just the skulls. Maybe I'll do the tombstones. That might actually work. What scent do we have in here? So it was a while ago that I ordered them. There's six different ones. It is a sample size. But for me, I can make a couple of different bags of wax melts. This is fantastic. First up, we have dirt. This one actually might smell really good, cedar. I have no idea what dirt is gonna smell like. But then again, I've had candles before that were called like graveyard and it kind of did smell like dirt and grass. This is night air and I actually have got this one before. I think this was in the Halloween edition one. Fresh cut wood. Okay, I need to try this right this second. Ooh, that's bizarre. It really smells like cut wood. Okay, I'm definitely doing one of these, or at least a couple skulls. S'mores, another one that I've got before. I think this was in their bakery edition. So I've got quite a few of these sets, but I like getting them this way because I can sample them. And then there are bigger bottles that you can get. So this is a 10 milliliter. The last one is Campfire. Okay, I was really interested in this have no idea. Campfires, bonfires, being outside in the summertime, this is gonna be it. Like this is yours right here, campfire. I got them, so like why not do all of them? That means I gotta get going now because it takes a little while to melt all of this soy and get everything ready. But yeah, I'm gonna do all of them. Oh my gosh though, that campfire is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, I love it. This last one, I got a big bottle of it because this is my one of my top favorite scents to have in the house during the winter time. It still kind of went with the slash-tastic theme. We have forest pine. Just imagine walking through a forest, it's midsummer day, maybe it just rained in the morning. That's what this smells like and it is so freaking good. So this is a 30 milliliter bottle. I normally let them sit overnight, but I wanna use them today. 
So I'm honestly just gonna let them harden and then put them in my wax melts here. So while I'm waiting, I'm gonna watch my very last Friday the 13th movie, or not the very last, but like the most recent one that's come out. Keep working on this Tunisian crochet blanket. Best case scenario, I can hopefully get to the color change with the red. I did see that Joann's does actually have it in store. There's like two stores around me that have it in stock. So potentially I could go and pick up a couple more like tomorrow. <laughs> is another day completely about movie watching. I have two movies set up for this morning and then I'm actually gonna go out to a movie, which I haven't gone out to a movie for since Violent Nights probably, so it's been a couple of weeks. Megan is the movie that I got tickets for and honestly, I am so freaking excited about this. It starts at 7.40, so I have about two hours and 10 minutes or so to get ready, but I do wanna be there a little bit early because it's also attached onto a restaurant and a bar. Honestly, I haven't even looked at the menu, so I'm not sure if I can eat anything or like if there's anything that I would enjoy eating. If they had like salad or something like that, I'd be pretty happy. I can always come back and get food if there isn't anything there. I need to talk about Megan because I have been seeing trailers for this since October, honestly. I feel like even before then, I've been seeing it for a very long time. And my expectations, although I'm trying my hardest, they are pretty high for this movie because it looks like a new generation's Chucky. So if it's not like that, or if it's not total campy vibes, which I really don't know how you can make a horror themed movie with a doll that comes to life and like attacks people and not make it campy. Like even if you're trying not to just the concept behind it is super camp so if it doesn't fall into those categories I'm gonna be seriously so sad but the trailers looked fantastic it's like going to another Friday the 13th movie I've seen every single one of them I know how they're gonna play out but I enjoy the ride you know, so I'm really hoping that that's what it's gonna be. 2022 was a fantastic year for horror movies. I feel like we had so many new classics, really. And I would like for this year to continue with that. And this will be actually the first one. Yeah, the first new one for 2023 that I'm actually watching. So let's just hope that it's at least good. It doesn't have to be my favorite, but let's at least hope that it's entertaining. I would love for it to be another franchise that I'm obsessed with and then we get like multiple Megans, Megan 1, Megan 2, Return of Megan, all of that stuff. But again, I feel like that's putting too much pressure on it and I don't wanna do that. There are a couple of them this year that I'm already really excited about. I'm like, okay, let's get this month here because I wanna watch this. Evil Dead Rise, that is the top of my list that I'm so excited about. I actually liked the remake or like the, the new version of Evil Dead had a totally different vibes from it. The camp level was not there and it went for like an actual horror movie. Even having said that, I really enjoyed it. Maybe I am setting myself up for failure and having all these like high expectations for my favorites, but you know, it is what it is. Scream is also going to be coming out. Another franchise that I will seriously watch every single one of them. So sad right now that movie was so 
so disappointing. Okay, like I said, maybe I went into it with too much expectations. Also, this isn't a potato. This is my trick or treat Sam plushie, but it totally looks like a potato. Every time I show it on here, people say it looks like a potato, but it's not. It's my squishy. And we're just getting cozy right now because I'm going to 100% pick something else. Probably Jennifer's body, honestly, to watch because I did not get my fill of camp and I did not get my fill of horror. I'm not trying to be super dramatic about this. It was just really, really slow paced for me. I was expecting it to have a little bit more action. Again, it's a doll that comes to life. How can that be boring, right? I didn't think it was possible, but apparently it is. And just like, honestly, so we spent so much time on the backstory of this character, like the the girl and Megan. I'm like, I'm not going to do any spoilers because if you want to see it and you don't trust me, like seriously, go see it. 100% go see it because if I talked to myself even five hours ago and said, no, don't go see it, I would not believe myself. So absolutely go see it. You may actually like it, which if you do, please tell me, please let me know. Maybe I just need to give it another chance. I just felt like we spent a ton of time on the backstory and setting up Megan and really like the kids perspective, the first five minutes of the show, that's all the backstory you needed. That's it, done. But I feel like it just got drug out. And by the time we did get to the action, which was just the very final part of the movie, I, I just wasn't interested. I really didn't care what happened to any of the characters. Like I just wasn't interested anymore, which was so sad. But anyways, I saw it, so here we are. I have a little hibiscus tea to try to make things better. And my Tunisian crochet project, I'm gonna keep working on that. Oh no, and then I just dropped my hook. That totally checks out. I was wanting to have it done by Friday and here we are on Sunday and I still don't have it done. I'm, I'm not even gonna push this one. Like if I wanna work on it, I wanna work on it. It's whenever, I didn't even get to the color change, but we're fine with it. I don't even know where the hook is. Okay, I guess I'm not working on that right now. The lineup for tonight is going to be Jennifer's Body, Evil Dead, the original one. What else? I kind of want to watch Malignant again. Don't ask me how many times I've seen that. Like, I don't know at this point. I freaking love that one. One more, because I'm not tired. Like, I was so excited for this movie. I am not tired at all. Bodies, bodies, bodies. Oh my gosh. This was a movie that I did not think I was going to like in any way, shape, or form. And I actually love it. Like, I purchased it. That's how much I love it. Okay, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to start with Bodies, 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 actually. That one's super camp. Bodies, 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 Malignant, Jennifer's Body. Evil Dead, the original version. That will be a good night for me then. I'm gonna get started on that, but thank you for hanging out with me this entire weekend. I hope that you had a super fun Friday the 13th weekend. Let me know everything that you did. If you crocheted something special for it, let me know. If you have seen Megan and you think that like, I just need to give it another chance, I am game for watching it again. Like I really am. Cause I feel like maybe I just missed something and I just wasn't in the mood for it. Otherwise, have a spooky rest of your night. Cheers with some hibiscus tea, and I will see you all in my next video.